Number 10. Rosmere do Nascimento Silva In 2017, a Brazilian woman's plan to surprise her fiancé and guests at her wedding reception by arriving in a helicopter ended in tragedy. Only a handful of people knew about the surprise appearance. 32-year-old Rosmere do Nascimento Silva was inside the aircraft, accompanied by her brother and a wedding photographer, who was documenting the occasion. The video of the incident, which lasted for almost nine minutes, was subsequently shared by a local news channel. The pilot, Peterson Pinero, urged the aircraft's occupants to remain calm as they experienced the first bout of turbulence. Pinero struggled to regain control of the helicopter as the shaking intensified. Silva and her brother closed their eyes and braced. The aircraft then crashed into a forest about a mile from the venue, killing the pilot and passengers. Silva's fiancé, who'd been waiting at the altar, went into shock upon hearing the news. Number 9. Will and Bailey Ackerman Byler In November of 2018, a newlywed couple from Texas perished in a tragic helicopter crash. The incident took place near Uvalde, about 85 miles west of San Antonio. Will Byler and Bailey Ackerman Byler, both aged 24, were whisked away by the aircraft at the end of a joyous wedding ceremony in which they'd been joined by friends and family. It was roughly 11.45 p.m. when they took off to spend their wedding night in San Antonio. The couple had only been in the air for a few minutes when the personal helicopter, owned by the groom's family, crashed into the side of a 1,500-foot hill. The Bylers, as well as the pilot, identified as 76-year-old Gerald Lawrence, were killed in the accident. A preliminary report couldn't find a specific cause for the crash. The weather was clear and Lawrence was an experienced pilot. Additionally, the wreck was difficult to examine as debris was strewn across the hillside. Number 8. Veronica Filipova in August of 2014, this 27-year-old newlywed woman was set on fire by her husband following a tumultuous wedding night. The violent incident occurred in Volograd, southern Russia. Veronika Filipova's romantic expectations for the night weren't met by her new husband, 30-year-old Ivan Kuzmin, who got drunk and fell asleep during the reception. To take revenge on her partner for neglecting her, Filipova bedded a former lover. The following morning, she felt guilty and told Kuzmin about what had happened. A fight erupted that ended with Kuzmin dousing her with neat alcohol, the type used in the composition of homemade spirits. He then used a lighter to set Filipova ablaze. The woman sustained severe burns to over 80% of her body and, in spite of doctors' efforts to save her, was pronounced dead. Filipova was survived by a young son from a former marriage. Kuzmin confessed to killing his wife and faced a prison sentence of at least 15 years. According to the woman's family, Kuzmin had a history of violence which he'd kept hidden from his wife. In the past, he'd been convicted of attempted murder which incurred a 10-year prison sentence. Number 7. Rogera Damascena In 2010, a massacre occurred during a Brazilian wedding reception as the groom gunned down his bride and his best man before turning the weapon on himself. The multiple shooting took place in the early hours of the morning. According to guests and witnesses, nothing had happened during the celebrations to suggest that 29-year-old groom Rogera Damascena would go on a killing spree. The party, near Recife in the country's northeast, was in full swing when Damascena left, claiming he had a surprise for the guests. According to the bride's brother, the man returned after five minutes. He kissed his new wife, 25-year-old Renata Alexandra Costa Coelho, on the back of the neck and then opened fire. He shot her twice, first in the chest and then in the head. He then fired at his best man, 40-year-old Marcelo Guimeres, who was also his boss and best friend. After wounding Guimeres, Damascena executed him with a shot to the back of the head. He then took his own life. Investigators believe the shooting was planned as Damascena had hidden the 38 caliber pistol in his father's pickup truck. His motives remained unknown, although the deceased bride's family suggested that the killing spree might have been motivated by jealousy. Number 6. Philadelphia Wedding Brawl In 2012, dozens of people from two separate wedding parties were involved in a massive brawl inside a Sheraton hotel in Philadelphia. The melee 
which was captured on video and became viral online, was reportedly fueled by alcohol and rising tempers. A physical altercation escalated to the point that, by one witness's account, 75 to 100 people were involved. The brawl took over the hotel's bar and lobby. The Philadelphia Police Department used batons and tasers to control the roaring crowd and had to call for backup twice. In the commotion, 57-year-old Vince Sanuti, an uncle to one of the brides, suffered a fatal heart attack and collapsed outside the hotel. He was rushed to the hospital, where he was later pronounced dead. After law enforcement managed to control the situation, a man was arrested for assaulting a police officer after he'd allegedly put a sergeant in a headlock. Number 5. Joe Melgoza Only hours after exchanging vows, a California man was bludgeoned to death by a pair of wedding crashes. 30-year-old Joe Melgoza and his wife, Esther Bustamante, were celebrating their union in the backyard of a home in Chino. 28-year-old Roni Arestines Castaneda Ramirez and his younger brother, Josui Daniel, showed up to the party uninvited. They didn't know Melgoza but lived near the home of Bustamante's family. The Castaneda Ramirez brothers, who'd reportedly crashed the wedding looking for alcohol, got into a fight with some of the guests and were asked to leave the property. The brothers did so but then returned armed with baseball bats. As Melgoza tried to confront them, he was repeatedly struck, sustaining severe head trauma. The groom was taken to a Chino hospital but unfortunately didn't survive. Two other people from the party sustained minor injuries in the altercation. In the incident's aftermath, the attackers were arrested and charged with murder. Number 4. Sakshi Arora In 2018, an Indian woman was killed by a stray bullet, fired during wedding celebrations in the city of Hoshiapur, Punjab state. Celebratory gunfire is practiced in a number of regions around the world, including Russia, the Middle East, and the US. Sometimes injuries from falling or stray bullets are reported, most commonly to the head, shoulders, and feet. During the incident in Hoshiapur, a man named Ashok Kosla shot his revolver to celebrate his daughter's upcoming wedding. His neighbor, 22-year-old Sakshi Arora, was on her terrace at the time. The round struck her in the head and she died on the spot. Kosla was arrested, as were other members of the wedding party, reported to have fired their weapons. Number 3. Thanet Kingwong 37-year-old Thai man Thanet Kingwong succumbed to a gunshot wound in 2017 from a round reportedly fired by members of a wedding party. The groom, 25-year-old Sumet Lomrob, had taken wedding photos in which he brandished two assault rifles while standing next to his bride. They celebrated the event on a Sunday morning by parading through the streets of Chonburi province and firing their guns. They did this even though they were in a residential area with hundreds of homes. Kin Wong was standing in front of a friend's house when a bullet hit him in the side of the chest. From over 300 feet away, he was pronounced dead at the scene. When the wedding party was first approached by the police, they denied any involvement. However, Lom Rob subsequently confessed that he owned one of the weapons fired during the parade. Five other men, all in their early 20s, turned themselves in and admitted they'd been part of the celebratory gunfire. They were charged with illegally possessing and carrying firearms, as well as with discharging them in a public place, while the police launched an investigation to determine the origin of the bullet that killed Kinwon. Today's topic was requested by Suck It Up Sales with Sally K13, Lasonya K, and Fernando Joines. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Damien Cousins In July of 2013, an idyllic Caribbean wedding reception ended in horror as robbers gunned down the groom over an alleged debt of less than $100. 49-year-old Jacqueline Cousins, who lived in London, was getting married in Jamaica, the home country of her husband, Damien. The two had met 11 years prior, when the woman was visiting her parents. Towards the end of the evening, Damien left to drop off his daughters at their mother's house. As Jacqueline and her mother-in-law were talking in an upstairs bedroom, two masked robbers broke into the property. They held the bride at gunpoint, demanding to know, where's the Rasta? The intruders claimed that Damien owed them money and one of them ransacked the home, searching for valuables. Moments later, Damien pulled into the driveway. Jacqueline then heard a series of gunshots, 
before the attackers fled the premises. The woman rushed outside to discover that her husband had been fatally shot in the head and neck. Two men were questioned by the authorities in the aftermath, but they were ultimately released and no further arrests were made. Damien was a songwriter and performer, whom Jacqueline described as a peaceful man. She believed that the attack hadn't been mainly motivated by money but rather by jealousy, that he was going to leave for London and start a life with her. Number 1. Margarita Mojado In 2016, a celebratory atmosphere abruptly turned tragic as a massive tree fell on top of wedding goers at a park in Whittier, California. The group was attending the wedding ceremony of Patricia Mojado and Alvaro Garcia. Some of the guests had lined up to take a group photo when an 80-foot eucalyptus tree toppled, trapping several of them under its weight. The bride's mother, 61-year-old Patricia, sustained fatal crushing injuries. Rescuers equipped with chainsaws arrived to free the wedding party members in an effort that continued throughout the evening. The collapse was initially suspected to have been caused by the Californian drought. However, it later emerged that the tree had been overwatered and allowed to grow at a dangerous angle. Nineteen plaintiffs, including several members of Patricia's family, sued the city of Whittier, citing both physical and psychological trauma. According to updates on the legal proceedings, a settlement of $28 million was reached, 3.3 of which were awarded to the bride. Thanks for watching. Would you give up one of your senses to marry your celebrity crush? Let us know in the comments section below.